Hello YouTubers, welcome to Family Adventures YouTube channel. We're here today in the London Natural History Museum. If you want to know how to do the London Natural History Museum just for one pound, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Skeleton of a gnome. Oh, oh, man, is. Inside the cocoon. Because they help us understand diversity of all the organs on the planet. These are some of the luxuries that uh, people do in field work. Known for <laughs> that weird pig device is a she wee. We might show you how to use one of them in one of our future videos. Last time I came in here in the Natural History Museum many, many years ago, they actually had a stuffed dodo. All they have in here now is just pictures. Which is a bit disappointing, but I guess I've got to preserve it somehow. We're now entering the dinosaur section. <laughs>
got a video of this one because as you can see its tail is so long. This is an iguanodon. I think I pronounced that right. I'm not very good with dinosaur names. Someone's pooped out already, look. Oh, he said his legs are aching. This museum is absolutely massive. And it, to do it properly, it'll take you hours to look around. We're just taking a rest. We just had a picnic to keep it cheap. Just gone into the bird section and I finally found the stuffed dodos. They're still here. There you go, this is the emperor penguin. Look at that. My son, who's eight years old, standing next to the emperor penguin. It's almost as tall as him. But it is just the right distance from Earth to provide the heat and light needed to support life. section of Boeing 747. You can tell by the upstairs part, which is the first class section, that's the bobble in the 747 on the top. There's some models of some really old airships. 
Back in the day, they were filled with hydrogen, which is highly explosive gas. And the vision for the building in New York was eventually these giant airships would dock with the skyscrapers, and that would be like the airports of the future. We're just walking along the viewing platform now, so we can actually look, get a closer up view of all the aircraft. The size of that, it's huge. There's the uh, Spitfire and Hurricane again in the distance. And there's the Mischief Smith jet. There is the German V1 rocket, nicknamed the Doodlebug. That was then superseded by the V2 rocket, which was an upright launching rocket. These rockets launch from long, um, like tracks, horizontal or vertical tracks. And they literally just went in a straight line, heading for the target, and when they run out of fuel, they dive bombed. Weren't very, well, trial and error, but they were pretty accurate eventually. If you want to pay a little extra, the simulators here where you can fly a real jet or, a, well, not a real jet, a simulation. Jet. Right, so we're heading into the Wonder Lab, which is the interactive section. Looks like an extra charge applies. Let's have a look at the prices. Right, so we decided not to do Wonder Lab, it was £28 for the family and I've done it before, it needed tiny. We didn't want to spend that sort of money. We've got technician section that way and over here you've got the medicine section. So if you want to know how to book the Natural History Museum for free, just go straight to the Natural History Museum website and you'll see as you scroll down, there's a section there which shows you how to click or book your tickets. Just simply click book your free ticket and then scroll down again, click book your free ticket. For the third and last time, you have to scroll down, book your free ticket again. Then it asks you to select how many people are in your group. For us, we clicked three. The next part asks you to choose the date or the day you wish to visit the museum. Then finally, you have to select a time. This is an estimate of the time and you've normally got about 30 minutes either way. Once you've clicked that, you have a choice to select with or without donation. To keep it cheap, click on the without donation button. After you've clicked on without donation, simply scroll down to the bottom. And it'll ask you then to confirm. It takes you to a section which lets you buy any guidebooks if you want to. And lastly, it asks you one final time whether you would like to make a donation to the museum. This is optional. Just scroll straight down to the bottom without selecting any of the buttons to add a donation and click the continue button. You'll see that the price remains zero and just simply fill in your details, phone number, email. And that's it. Just confirm your order at the bottom. The total should still remain as zero, and that's how you book the museum free of charge in London. If you'd like to visit the Science Museum as well, just follow the same process. Just click on find the Science Museum website, 
and then simply click the button where it says book free tickets and that's it you should be on your way to the museums links to the websites to the museums will be in the video descriptions please do click subscribe and like our channel if you want to see more of this content and thanks for watching